Welcome to New Divide Outdoors. Today, doing a little, little bird hunting. Oh man, there's one right there. Well, so far the birds ain't flying too bad. It seems like every time I'm not paying attention is when they start flying. I've got two mojos, one there, one there, and then I only had enough batteries for two of the Dove a flick a flock, whatever it's called. Dove a flock, dove a flick, something. So I only have two of them out, but I'm sitting on this uh, pipeline here, and it seems to be where a lot of these birds like to feed is on the ground around here. So nice and open gives you area to shoot and whatnot. So should work out pretty decent. Had some decent luck in the past few days except well I should say past few weeks but shoot we had about five inches of rain the last week and a half so it's got the birds all all messed up so hopefully I can get a, enough to make a meal would be nice so, there goes one there I get warmed up. Mm, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I swear, I'm a better shot than that. I promise. There we go. Every time I don't pay attention, another bird flies by. Here comes one right here. I see one back there you're supposed to let me know hopefully I get enough here because I really want to show you all this recipe it is a bomb recipe it is probably it's probably the most tender dub you'll ever have in your life honestly it is so good well I took my GoPro off my head. One, because I think it's messing with my shooting. I'm not getting the proper cheek weld on my stock. And two, just a reminder, make sure you put it on video mode before you press play and put it on your head. I had it on time-lapse photo the whole dang time. So. None of those shots 
are recorded. So, yeah, missing out on that. So, that's my fault. I apologize for that. But, you know, I didn't miss too much. It's not like I've just been laying them down. I haven't been shooting all that great. So, yeah, you miss you you've uh, you missed out on the misses. So I guess you missed out on a few laughs. So, oh well. Smoke that one. <laughs> About time. Let's go get this guy. Oh, I thought I heard one. Got me all fired up. There he is. <laughs> Ooh, <smoke. clears throat> it's a young one, but he'll still eat. Ooh, that bird bag's getting kind of heavy. Just kidding, not really. <laughs> There's some landing down there in the, on the pipeline to feed. But I just don't feel like walking over there. It's kind of far. Plus, if I do, I have to put my GoPro back on my head. Then I'll probably miss some birds. And then I'll, yeah, so it's just not a good idea. Just not a good idea. Yeah, they're just right down there. It's just like, man, if they were, shoot, not even a hundred yards this way, they'd be, we'd be stacking them up, that's for sure. I just shot that one. There's some that came a little closer and they're feeding on the ground. So, I'm gonna put my GoPro on. Put it in video mode. And see what happens. So we'll see. Got him. All right. Well, we got one. Hopefully I can find this guy. Sure hope I can. Oh, there he is. All right. That little sucker. Gosh dang it. That one's right there. Man, I'm glad I looked up right at the right time. There he 
There he is. Under all of it. I wonder if I couldn't see him. Here's a good mature bird there. There we are. Heck yeah. Well, I guess that little walkabout paid off. Got me two of them. I see these birds. I guess they just eat all the seeds that fall off all this, all these weeds and stuff. But, or they land out here to get some of this gravel, I guess, for their crawls. <laughs> All right, heck yeah. Smoke that guy. Finally got warmed up. Now we're hitting birds. But now it's probably time to go. That's probably the last bird that's gonna fly by, but. Yeah. So, I'm gonna take my time. Get me a decoys. Go pick up that bird and take my time to get some decoys. Maybe I'll get another one. See how many we ended up with today. There's a few flying by here. <laughs> I might have to drop all this stuff and shoot real quick while I'm doing this. Hopefully not. Well, hopefully so. See how many we got. Yeah. <gasps> None. Ooh, that's all of them. We got Uno. One, two, twelve, thirteen. Oh, not too bad, really. Too, sh too shy of a limit? I ain't gonna complain, shoot. I was thinking I'd probably end up with, hopefully at best, like six with all the rain we've been getting, so. I'm gonna see about getting all the decoys put away, everything put up and stuff, and then I will show you how to clean them. We got in late last night, so threw these guys in the fridge, and gonna clean them today. We'll do the same thing we did in the last video. Basically, just take them. Put your thumb under this. There's a little that breastplate, that breastbone there, little point you can feel it. Put your thumb right up under there. Push it up inside, grab them by their tail and their feet, just pull that off, they'll come right apart, pull it to just past the kind of shoulders of the wing and the wings there, and then just grab this skin with the feathers, pull it forward, and then all in one, you got the head, back, feet and everything there so then you have your breast just like that then just kind of peel this skin back just a little bit feel that first joint on the wing bend it backwards snap it just twist mark. same thing on the other side with the other wing get that first joint bend it backwards twist pops off so there we have one dove, and then obviously all these feathers. There's a BB there. We'll pop that out. And I clean that off. So then we got these here. So I'm going to flip it on the other side because we don't want the breastbone for this recipe. So we'll just slide our thumbs right under that plate there, just like that. Just pop that off. right off the bone just like that there pull that off 
the wing. There's a piece of meat. That's one side. Do that with the other. And there we have it. You have both sides of the breast. Clean bone. Throw that in the trash and we'll do the next one. We got those two done and we'll finish up the rest of these and then we'll see y'all in the kitchen. For this recipe, it's pretty simple. I've got six doves here. That's all the breasts from the doves. And then I got a box of cream cheese, cumin, uh, dice, or not dice green chilies, but green chili enchilada sauce, fajita seasoning. This is Bulner's out of San Antonio, you can use whatever fajita seasoning you want. Um, fajitas, I have flour here. You can use corn as well, it doesn't matter. And then some fresh shredded pepper jack cheese. It doesn't have to be fresh shredded, it can be you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so, and then also a um, baking machine. I'm gonna start off with taking these dove breasts and just kind of slicing them uh, lengthwise just to kind of make them a little bit smaller, fit them in a tortilla a little bit better. So we'll do that. Okay, we've got these, we've got this dove, dove meat cut up and now you know it's in little strips like this. So what I want to do now is I'm going to grab a bowl and I'm going to season this with the fajita seasoning and the cumin. One thing I forgot to, to uh, include in this is uh, garlic. So I'll put some uh, garlic powder on this as well. You don't have to do that, but I just like to. garlic powder. Mix all this up. Make sure it's all seasoned. Good. It's time to lay out these tortillas. Probably going to put about, oh, I don't know, five tortillas. There's only six birds, so do almost a whole bird per tortilla. We got our cream cheese here, and I'll cut off just a little bit, not a ton. I'll get that spread out. On there. Put our meat in there. Sprinkle just a just a little bit of cheese on there, not much. That's plenty there. And I'll roll this guy up. Get it kind of tight on there so that that meat doesn't fall out on you. Got those finished up. I ended up using five tortillas instead of four. Um, just didn't want them to be, you know, stuffed too full. So now we've got our green chili enchilada sauce. We'll pour this over it. I'm going to use about half of this can here. Spread this over all these guys. Make sure it's covering them good. Okay. Now we'll 
cover it with as much pepper jack cheese as you want to use. We've got the oven preheating to 350 and we'll put these in for about 25 minutes or so maybe a little less you just have to check them so we'll go ahead and put these in and we'll check them in 25 minutes it's been 25 minutes check this and it looks good all right that smells so good Heck yeah. Mm, I can't wait to dig into that. See how it came out. Ooh, that meat's tender. That's phenomenal. That is so good. I could probably eat this every day. That is so good. That's it for this uh, this episode. I want to get to finishing this because I'm pretty hungry and it's really good. So if you guys like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you if you enjoyed the content, you like the recipe or the hunting, um, or just learning how to you know do all this on your own. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That's what, that way you're notified every time we put out a new video. Um, play more stuff just like this coming out um, in the future. Check out our old videos. Some of the same kind of similar stuff. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.